Hi everybody, welcome to the Daily Bumble Bunch. Today I wanna to talk about these dungarees that I made for my friend Erin. I keep wanting to call them dungaroos, that is wrong. This is the fabric that I chose. Um, it's kind of like a, I think like a light cotton, cottony linen, does that even make sense? I'm not really sure. But um, I really like this fabric. It's really um, breathable. It's easy to manage, easy to wash. Here I am just ironing it. It's kind of the type of fabric that like it can have some wrinkles in it and it still looks good. Here are the pattern pieces. So it's really interesting. I'm showing you that there's some like outlined in black and some outlined in pink. That's because this pattern is from this book, which you'll see later, that has a lot of different patterns in it. It's by Tilly and the Buttons. Um, and it was, the book itself was a gift from some of my friends in London. Um, Tilly and the Buttons is, is a, a British brand. Um, she makes different patterns and things, Tilly. Um, they're pretty fun. Anyways, this was the first pattern that I used and made from this book. You can see here, I'm just cutting out um, the different pattern pieces um, from the fabric. Um, this was kind of difficult. This alone took me like two and a half hours just to do this. You can see these are the directions in the book and it says it this, the whole thing, to put together the whole entire piece of clothing. It should take like two and a half hours. No, it took me just two and a half hours to, to cut out the pattern pieces, to trace the pattern um, in the right size. So, um, I don't know, maybe I'm a little bit slower than other people. I'm not really sure. Or this book is not super realistic. I'm going to make a few other patterns from it and, or a few other pieces of clothing from it and we'll see. These are um, me just sewing up the pants, the flowered fabric or the pockets. I thought it'd be cool to have a contrast. Here's me trying on a fit check. Erin is smaller than me. She's shorter and smaller. Um, these are kind of up my butt crack, but that's okay because they'll fit Erin. Um, and I was kind of guesstimating because this was a surprise gift for her birthday, but um, it looks pretty good. So I kept going. Here's me um, finishing off some of the details on the outfit. So um, to kind of make it lay nicely and look nicely, you sew around the upper edge on the top of the dungarees. So I'm cleaning it up here and I'm about to sew it. This is me frustrated because sometimes when you're sewing through multiple pieces of fabric, you make mistakes like this. This side looks great. And here's the mistake that I just didn't notice because that was on the underside. This is me sewing the tie for like the waist tie. This I thought was super satisfying. I think this is on like two and a half times the speed um, and it's really fun to watch the little bit of fabric at the end just kind of lay down as it is. Um, yeah, I thought this was just a little bit of fun to show what this looks like. And then here it is! It looks really great. Apparently it fits Erin really great and I cannot wait to make myself an identical pair of these. 